Turning now to the Ebola crisis, uh, because of the size and seriousness of the outbreak, VOA and BBC are collaborating in order to give audiences in Africa and around the world access to the best information and content available. In this report, BBC's Gabriel Gethouse tells us about the risks frontline workers are facing in Liberia, the worst hit country, with at least 4,800 reported deaths from Ebola. The sight of an ambulance means only one thing. Almost 50 new cases of Ebola are reported every day here in a city of one million people. Ambulance workers are on the front lines. Laureen and her crew have been called in to collect a woman who's been taken sick. It's extremely dangerous work. So the ambulance team are taking as many precautions as they can. They're getting into these white suits, plastic aprons, the hoods up, goggles and face masks. Because when they go into these homes, the woman in there, we understand, is unconscious. And it's when people are in that state that they're most contagious. Her terrified neighbours isolated her inside her home for days before calling in the ambulance. Excuse me, there's a tear in your suit. Any physical contact with the patient's bodily fluids could be a death sentence. Obsessive attention to detail can save your life. Laureen allows us to fit a small camera to her head before she goes in. The scene she's about to witness is one of horror, but for her it's a scene that's become an everyday reality. She enters the cramped home. On the floor lies what appears to be an elderly woman. The patient herself is now the biggest danger, an incubator riddled with the virus. She needs to be isolated fast. The neighbours say the patient has been ill for weeks and that she's only 38 years old. One woman tells us she's the patient's housemate. Are you still going to live in that same house now? Yes, I'm in the same house. You're living in the same house? Yes. She is scared, she says. She'll clean the place, but she has nowhere else to go. And this is how it spreads. In cramped neighbourhoods where poverty and lack of sanitation fuel the outbreak. Gabriel Gatehouse, BBC News in Monrovia.